steps down the Motor Phillips Arena, where aside from LeBron, they will barely resemble their recent past or their future. Only five players from last year's finals roster are left over after the flurry of activity yesterday that sent six players in their combined 393 playoff games of experience packing. In their place, four new players, collectively younger, more athletic, but with much less postseason experience aside from the veteran George Hill. Now let's bring in the man who made all that happen, Cavaliers general manager Kobe Altman. Uh, thanks for the time, Kobe. All right, first up, this was a lot. I mean, uh, just emotionally, physically, what's the last day plus been like for you? Did you sleep last night, for instance? <laughs> I actually got a couple hours of sleep uh, last night, but we were we were burning it pretty hard, and um, uh, I was up uh, about three or four o'clock in the morning because most of the teams I was negotiating with were on the West Coast, so um, they had obviously the time difference, and I wanted to keep pushing. Hmm. When did you realize you had to do something this radical to your roster? I think um, as, the, as the year goes along, you, you, you collect sort of intel and you have a, a good pulse of your team because you're, you're with them. Um, I think to start the season, I think we were really excited about the group we had. Uh, we realized we were a little older. Um, but as you go over the course of the season and you realize you're not performing to the level of expectations that you wanted, um, you realize, you know, should we start to tinker with some things? And then it got, it got pretty bad in terms of how we were playing. I thought our, our energy and our enthusiasm were, were lacking. And I just thought the culture had to change. Um, I wanted to bring some excitement and, and enthusiasm back to the building. And I thought this was going to really put some, some wind in our sails. Kobe, Mike Fratello, did you have anything else going on and all of a sudden 3 p.m. came and it was just too late to get it done or did you pretty much accomplish everything you were trying to? Uh, certainly did, I think, with the, with the three trades. Uh, but this is a, a, a work that starts pretty early on in the season just in terms of canvassing the league and seeing what could be available. Um, what opportunities, what clues are out there, who might be falling out of favor where, um, who's in rotations, who's not, and you try to figure out sort of what you can do. Um, and then leading up to it, we sort of knew the price of, of some of the guys that we liked, and we sort of attacked them. Um, but, uh, no, I thought we accomplished a lot. I mean, we got younger, uh, we got certainly more athletic, we got talent, we got sustainability with some of these guys who are under contract. And we're really excited about the guys we have. We have some dynamic players that we think are going to add some real life to this team. Um, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Kobe, uh, walk us through the thought process of what went into trading Isaiah Thomas. Was this more about on-court performance, not fitting in with LeBron James? Uh, we've heard some off-the-court things. Was this a locker room thing? What went into trading uh, Isaiah? Because this was a guy that you brought in to replace Kyrie Irving. Certainly. Um, not easy. Um, I think selfishly, I really wanted it to work out because I'm the one that made the trade. Uh, but you have to look at the team, the dynamic, and, and the fit. And, you know, my, my former boss, David Griffin, talked about that a lot when I was with him. Is the fit right? And if the fit's not right, um, it's going to suck the energy out of the team. And that's not all IT's fault. Um, but it was sort of the makeup of, of the team, the dynamic of the team, and I realized uh, now is when we needed to make a change. You know the perception of any team with LeBron James on its roster that he is running things, whether he's in charge or not, as uh, in your position. Um, what was his level of involvement in the days, maybe even weeks, leading up to the trade deadline in terms of personnel, what he liked, what he didn't like, and maybe what he wanted? I think you always want to use LeBron James as a partner in some of this stuff. Uh, he, he's a basketball savant, uh, but he's also a basketball junkie. Uh, he watches NBA League pass late into the night. And so when I'm bringing up these potential opportunities with him, he knows the scout report on these guys. He knows their strengths. He knows how they would play. He knows how they would fit. And so to pick his brain on, on potential acquisitions is, is great for us. Um, and I think he's excited about these new additions. Um, I think he's excited about the youth. 
um, and, and also, also the athleticism. So we're an old team, um, and if we weren't executing right, um, it, it didn't look good. And so I wanted to bring some excitement back, some, some joy and some fun, and get back to playing that, that kind of basketball. But t t to your question, um, you know, you, you definitely consult a, 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 the player of LeBron James, um, and uh, I'm excited for him, and I think he has a renewed sense of energy as well. Did the fact that you had to deal with the Lakers and that in turn helped them create more space have an effect on the final decisions? No, because there was an opportunity there. Um, I think that they were going to create that space. If that was their goal, they were going to create that space no matter what. Um, and I saw an opportunity there in terms of uh, two young, talented pieces that I saw as core pieces moving forward. And um, we sort of jumped on that. And, and I think they're going to be huge additions to us, for, for us. And um, I, I don't think that us doing that deal would have precluded them from doing anything this offseason. Obviously, you made these moves because you thought they strengthened your team this year, but do you also think you had to make these moves to convince LeBron James to stay in the offseason? Like, hey, we're doing what we need to do. You have these pieces, and these pieces are good enough if you want to come back. Well, of course, we want LeBron to, to stay long term. Um, uh, we're focused largely on the now and into the future and these trades sort of address that in terms of our sustainability to have young assets under contract is huge for us um, you know to know that we also have Kevin Love coming back to know that we're gonna add um, you know another high-level rookie to go with Jetty Osmond um, and these young assets we brought into the deal and so we really feel that we have a healthy franchise moving forward you alluded to it. Uh, you managed to keep Brooklyn's pick, now your pick, even though you moved your own first round pick over the course of the, or before the deadline, I should say. How close at any point in the process or during the season have you come to moving that pick you received from Brooklyn? It was a much talked about uh, draft asset. Um, you know, it was never untouchable. It was always, it had to be the right player or the right young player that we thought we can grow with or a player uh, veteran player that we thought can take us over the top and that never presented itself it wasn't that we were never going to move it um, that opportunity never presented itself and so we're, we're excited about this draft and excited to potentially bring in um, you know another core piece Kobe if LeBron decides to come back and stay in Cleveland will you have monies available to go after another free agent so we're, we're always over the cap. We've played in that game for a very long time now. We'll have our uh, mini mid-level exception um, if we're still in the tax. But um, we'll always look to improve. Uh, but again, a lot of our, our improvement was made from this trade, will be made from the draft, will be development of our young guys. And we'll see a lot of internal growth. And I think, I think he sees that, and I think he's excited about these new pieces.